So the next kits for November are the Christmas tree kits. Um, and my goodness, we have got the most beautiful selection of Christmas tree kits for you. I have included lots of different sizes this year um, and lots of different pots and different styles of pots. Um, they sold so well last year that we bought them all back and added some new ones in as well. So because there's quite a few, I'm not gonna pop them all up. I'm gonna pop two up, but then show you the different sizes of the others. Um, and then before I pot up, I'm actually gonna go through the care of the Christmas tree kits so that then if you don't wanna kind of wait until the one that you've got, um, you know, I'm potting it up or whatever, then you don't have to. So you basically just have to listen to the care, see how I put one of them up, and then that, you know, you can just sort of transfer that to any size Christmas tree kit that you have. Um, but yeah, so let's just quickly go through the care. Okay, so these trees can be kept indoors for a good few months. So they will see you through until after Christmas uh, and beyond if you want to keep them in the home. But the main thing is, Keep them indoors, keep them damp, keep them all away from sort of direct heat sources. So don't, for example, put one right next to a radiator or right next to a, um, you know, a fire that is on um, I, or, or lit, got the word for it. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that's going to kill them. Like keep them in a, in a room where you've got your heating on, but just don't put it right next to a radiator. I suppose a bit like you know, a, a cut Christmas tree, you wouldn't put it, um, or you might, I don't know, it depends where you put it, but you, it wouldn't survive as long next to a radiator is probably the best way to describe it. But it will probably be okay because they're, they are planted, they have a root system, therefore they're getting their air water supply. So you probably will be fine to put it near a, an open fire or a radiator. But if you think that it's looking a bit sort of disheveled, um, dropping its uh, needles, then then move it to somewhere cooler and give it a good drink. Um, so it will definitely last you past Christmas, and then you can put it out in the garden, either plant it in the ground or put it in a pot, and it will last for years. So that's one of the beauty, um, one of the things that are beautiful about these kits. Okay, so let's go through the sizes. So I'm going to start smallest to large, smallest to biggest. Um, so the first one is the mini. No, it's not. It's the little Christmas tree kit. So this one we did last year um, and you bought so many of them, you gave them as gifts. We did lots and lots of, um, sort of gift messages with them. Um, I know lots of you gave them to your children. Um, my boys had them in their bedrooms over Christmas. Um, but they're also just a really lovely kind of festive styling kit. Um, you know, a subtle nod to the festivities. Um, so yeah, a really lovely kit. So this is the little Christmas tree kit. This one here is the small Christmas tree kit. So this one comes in a 16 centimeter pot. So the mini comes in a 10 centimeter pot. So this is the small, and I'll pop that up in a second. Um, and that's the pot. This one here at the front is called the Globe Christmas tree kit. Now, this is a new um, size this year and a new style, a new shape. It's a beautiful kind of stocky Christmas tree. Um, Globe is actually, um, Sort of involved in its Latin name. I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying now. Um, so that is the Globe Christmas tree kit. And then we have the, so hang on a second, little, small, medium Christmas tree kit, which is this one just here. So this one is in an 18 centimetre pot. And then that and then, sorry, and then this is the, oh gosh, so sorry. So this is the large Christmas tree kit. This is in a 21 centimeter box. Um, and then this is the extra large Christmas tree kit. And that is in a huge 25 centimeter beautiful scallop planter pot. Um, so that's the extra large. Okay, so now we've done the sizes, I'm just going to pot up two of the kits. I'm gonna do the, the little and the small and then you'll be able to see um, how you pop them up and then you can just redo that for all of the sizes, it's all the same technique. Okay, let's move that over. So we'll start with the, li uh, the little. So in your kit you'll have your pot, your gravel, your moss, your compost 
and your um, tree. So with the pot on its saucer, just add in the gravel, just a tiny bit. So now this is a 10 centimeter scalloped um, pot and it's just beautiful, a really, really gorgeous, gorgeously detailed pot. Just add a sprinkling of compost and then simply pop your tree in and assertively, you, can be, you don't need to be gentle, just push the, the tree down and then you can add a tiny bit of compost just so that it gets a little bit of new, fresh nutrients on top. And then adding in your moss. So you have two different types of moss. You have your bun, bun moss, which is the sort of chunky one, and then your flat moss, which is the more sort of woodlandy looking one. So adding in your mosses, they just sit simply on top of your compost and it just finishes off the potting beautifully. And that is it. It's that simple. So that is the little Christmas tree kit. And now, I'll just get my pot that up there. And now I'm going to go on with the small Christmas tree kit. So the small Christmas tree kit comes in this gorgeous scalloped, sorry, not scalloped, ribbed um, terracotta pot and saucer. So again, much the same, adding in the gravel, for the drainage and then adding in a little bit of compost on top just so that those roots get some new nutrients and I'm just going to pop the pot in yep that's about right then simply pop it in and now this one is slightly different I suppose to the um, the little tree kit in that you have to add more compost around um, the plant or the tree so you simply pop it in and sort of let it trickle down the sides of the tree. I find if you kind of give the tree a little bit of jiggle, it then sort of, all the compost sort of falls down to where it needs to be. in your moss. So add some flat moss and some bun moss. I'm just going to take off the back of the root system like that just so that it sits a bit flusher on top of the compost. potted up. So keep the soil damp and um, keep it in the home. It's absolutely fine. Or obviously have them, you know, outside your front door. It'll look beautiful. You can create sort of a, a doorscape of them with lots of different sizes. Um, but keep them damp. Don't let them dry out. And then once you've finished with your Christmas trees inside, once the festive period is finished, you can add them into your garden, either in the ground or in a pot, um, and they will last for years and years. So there you have it, your Christmas tree kit 